Hi fitness friends. Today we have no comfort zone number two. This is a full body workout that was written by our dear fitness friend named Jory. So if you like this workout, make sure you check out no comfort zone number one and that you leave it with a thumbs up and you let Jory know in the comment section. This is going to be a long haul of a workout. I have shortened it quite a bit, but we'll be using our plyo box set at 24 inches just for like two moves. So if you don't have a plyo box, that's okay. You can do these moves right on the ground. I'll also be using my BOSU. The same goes for that. If you don't have one, do the move right on the ground. We'll also be using dumbbells of various weights. So make sure you have some weights around. Get all the varieties that you have to challenge yourself for this workout. And oh, and sliders. So that's anything that you can put under your hands or your feet to glide across the floor that you are working on. They don't always work for me on this floor, but I'm gonna to try to make it work today, and if I can't, I'm just gonna do the moves without them, and you should do the same. All right, I do not have a warm-up. Jory has a section called a warm-up, but if you need something a little bit slower to get your heart rate up a little bit before you jump right into some weighted moves, go ahead and push pause and get that done. If not, let's get this no comfort zone number two started. All right, I hope you are all ready to get right into this workout. We're starting with the warm-up section. So we're beginning with the rep-based moves. We have 20 swings, kettlebell or dumbbell. I'm going with one 24-pound weight. Hinge at your hips, use momentum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Set that dumbbell down. Place your right hand on it. We have 10 staggered push-ups. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come on up. We're back to swings. Fifteen swings this time. So both hands on your kettlebell or dumbbell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, other side. 10 push-ups, staggering with your left arm on the weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nice work. We are on to 10 swings. Working our way down here. Squeeze those glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 10 tricep push ups. The difference here is you're keeping both hands on your kettlebell or dumbbell to keep them close together. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We are down to Bosu squats. The tricky part is you're doing it on top of your bosu. If you have it, if not, I suggest grabbing some weight here. I have to stand on the round side for balance because I can't do it on the flat. Get down as low as you can. Here we go, we got 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're straddling down 
I'll count at the top of the motion. Here we go. Get your butt low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, last warm up move is 20 pendulum switch lunges. So you do a forward lunge, a reverse lunge with the same leg, and then you hop to switch. One equals one, here we go. I'm not using any weights. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten more. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one. Okay, we're going to move right on to part one. Here we have 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest hit, two times through, six moves. Okay, get your sliders. We're starting off with them. It's a different move. You're putting your knees on your sliders, going in and out, then kneeling back with your butt back to your, your heels and doing a kneeling thrust or squat. You want it. Put your knees on your sliders. It's a bit awkward at first. I did practice. So slide out, adduction in, sit back, squeeze your glutes. Out, in, don't get stuck out there. Sit back, squeeze up. Don't go too far out that you can't get those knees to come back together or go without weight. Squeeze the glute. Five seconds. Okay, get that weight off your shoulders. We have curtsy pulses for three, using your right leg, and then a squat jump. I'm going with two 24s here. Yes, that is a weighted squat jump. So, right leg only. One, two, three. Come up, squat, jump. Go for another pulse. One, two, three. Two, three. Then get the other leg in the next 50 seconds. Keep 
that chest up. All right, next move. Lose that weight. It's a squat jump combo. Narrow squat, wide squat. Back to narrow and then reverse lunges. So, narrow, wide, narrow, reverse lunge, back to narrow, reverse lunge, back to narrow, wide, narrow, reverse lunge, narrow, reverse lunge, narrow, wide, got it. Find a rhythm, stick to it. Fifteen seconds. Nice work. Shake it out. We have X's and O abs and cross toe touches. So on your back, arms and legs out wide, bring it together, back out, cross toe touch, XO, out, cross toe touch, in, out, cross touch, in, out, cross touch, in, out, cross touch. You got it. Suck those abs in. Don't press them out. Keep those feet up. Less than 10 seconds. All right. We are doing a rollback to a squat. Stay low in that squat. Then tuck jump from that low squat to another roll back. So roll it back. Come up to a low squat right here. Tuck jump from here. Back down to that roll back. Roll up, low squat. Tuck jump. Low squat. Roll back. Hold it. Tuck. Roll back. Hold it. Really try to get that tuck jump up there. Stay with it and don't burn your quads. Less than 10. And one. Okay. Knees on slider. Adductors with the squat cross. I'm going without the weight this time. See if I can get these adductors working a little better for me. Here we go. Out, in, sit back, really squeeze the glutes up. I feel like in my inner thighs more than I do my adductors, which are your outer glute area. That's okay. As long as you're working, and if you don't have sliders, just do weighted thrusts, okay? Last second here, nice job. Curtsy pulses with the squat jump. Starting on your right leg. Grab those weights, let's go. Stand straight tall, shoulders down and back. Frizzy pulse for three. One, two, three, bring it up. Squat jump. One, two, three. One, two, three. Seconds. Three, two, one. Shake out your grip. 
Get ready to go on the other leg. Here we go. Left leg curtsy, pulse it. Squat to roll back. So get that roll back. Come up to a low squat hold. Right here, tucked up. Back down. Roll back. Don't release that contraction on your legs at all. I shorten these to the pairs to be typical 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, eight times through for a four minute set. Jory originally had it written for 35 second intervals, which would have made it a six minute set. So if you want to do it that way, it would be 35, 10 for eight rounds, okay? So our first pair is a donkey kick to a bear crawl forward, push up, bear crawl back. We're pairing that with a bear crawl hold, donkey kick to a tricep push-up. Hitting start right now, 10 second countdown is on. So you're starting with a donkey kick, bear crawl forward, push up, bear crawl back. Here we go, donkey up, crawl forward, push up, bear crawl back. Cover those knees, abs tight, back flat, donkey, 
Crawl forward. Push up. Crawl back. Okay, bear crawl hold. Donkey kick single leg. So it's like a glute move to a tricep push up and they're alternating legs. Hover your knees, donkey kick up. Hop forward or walk forward. Tricep push up, back to bear crawl. Donkey, tricep push up. Donkey, tricep push up. Nice job. Shake out those shoulders and arms. Round two of the donkey kick. Bear crawl. Push ups. Bear crawl back. Push up. Bear crawl back. Nice work. If you can make this a plyo jump to tricep push up, go for it. If not, just walk out like I am. Kick it, tricep push up. Kick it, tricep push up. Go for the plyo, give it a try. I did. <laughs> okay, donkey up. Bear walk forward. Push up. Bear walk back. Donkey. Make good use of your 10 second rest. Shake it out. Donkeys to tricep push ups. Okay. Last two rounds, last full round here. Donkey kick, bear crawl, push up. Last bear crawl hold, donkey kick, tricep push up. Here we go, kick it up, triceps. Nice work. Pair number two. We have a front squat, which basically just means you're holding your weights up in front of you. So a squat times two. So two front squats, drop the weights, box jump. You don't have a box jump, just do a tuck jump. Pairing that with a crab toe touch for four, flip over for two push ups. I'm hitting start right away. And I'm going to use my sandbag for the front squat. Just make sure when you drop that weight, it's out of your way for the box jump. So, hold it in front of you. Squat one, two. Drop the weight down out of your way, one box jump. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna turn and get my box jump that way. Two. Okay, I got started late on that one. Gonna make it a little smoother in the next round. Crab toe touch for four, flip over two push ups. So, one, two, three, four. Flip it over. One, two. On your back again. Other leg. One, two, three, 
four, flip it over, one, two. Okay, get that front load ready. Two squats, one box jump. One, two, drop the weight. I just did two box jumps, sorry. It's only supposed to be one. Totally messing this up. That's okay. As long as you're working. Four front toe touches, two push ups. One, two, three, four. Flip it over. One, two. On your back. Other leg. One, two, three, four. Flip it over. One, two. On your back. All right, you get a full round of those in on both sides in the 20 seconds. Front squats for two, one box jump. One, two, okay. Grab toe touches and push ups. Four and two. One, two, three, four. Flip it. One, two. Other leg. One, two, three, four. Flip it. One, two. Last full round. One, two, get that back shot. One, two. Crab toe touches. Last round in this Tabata pair. One. Two, three, four. Flip it. One, two. Other leg. One, two, three, four. Flip it. One, two. One. All right. We're moving straight on to our third pair. We're doing a forward fold. And put your hands, sliders under your hands. So, standing up tall, forward fold, slide out to a push up, slide back to a pike, and stand all the way back up. If you don't have sliders or you can't get them to work for you, which I may not be able to on my floor today, just do a walk out, okay? We're pairing that with a tricep push up hold, a tricep jack, okay? Basically, you go down, tricep push up, hold it, jack your feet out, and that. If you want to, you can put your sliders under your feet for that too. I am not going to put my sliders under my feet for that. Just keeping them with my hands. So, 10 second countdown is on. Get the sliders in your hands, stand up straight and tall. Forward fold, slide out. Get a push up, slide back. As controlled as you can, stand all the way back up. Go again. Okay. Tricep push ups and jacks. If you want to put your sliders under your feet, do slider jacks. Hands are close to your body. Jack. Up. Jack. Up. Nice work. Make sure you get a nice pause at that hardest part of that tricep push up for that jack. Stand up straight and tall. Forward fold. Slide it out. Push up. Slide it 
hands up. I have to walk my hands back. Triceps again. Get ready. Hold in the hardest part. Jack. Press back up. Weights out of your way. 
Elevate your hands if you want. It breaks up the push-ups a little bit if you do. <laughs> Knee tucks. One, two, push up, T stand, dip it, push up, T stand, dip it, push up, knee tucks. One, two, okay, rows again, and elbows to knees with push ups in between. So it's kind of like a dip. You can go from your elbow 
So keep one, the weight up at your shoulder. You're gonna press up and lift and down and dip. Got it? Your knees stay bent, hips stay stacked, body in a straight line. You've got eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch sides. Bend that lower leg on your elbow or your palm, whichever you'd rather do it on. Get that weight up, press it straight up above your shoulder as you lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Okay, next move. Curtsy lunge with a single arm upright row. Same arm, same leg. You're rowing up, elbow goes out wide as you curtsy. I always go with a light weight for these, so I'm going with 15 pounds. I simply do that because these just feel awkward for my shoulders for some reason. So, 10. Weight in the same arm, same hand. Curtsy back, row it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch sides. Get that other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, ten deadlift to narrow rows. So I'm going to go two 24s. I'm going to do a deadlift halfway down, get a narrow row, and then finish off my deadlift. So, weights are close to your body the whole time. Halfway down, row, finish down, all the way up. That's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step down. You have a right arm sumo squat and sword pull, which means your toes and knees are out wide. I'm going with a light weight, nine pounds. You're crossing this weight down to your opposite toe and pulling it all the way up with a wide arm pull. If you can't do that, keep your arm bent, okay? We have 10 on each side, I think. Let me see. <laughs> yes, 10 on each side. Here we go. Toes and knees up, squat down. Pull up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Down to your other toe. And up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10. Nice work. All right, we have an overhead move. So I'm staying with nine pounds. We're gonna grab two weights. We're doing eight overhead squat to a crunch. You're gonna alternate with legs that you're crunching up with. Show you what that looks like without weights. So overhead, squat down, come up, knee up for the crunch. Like that, okay? One equals one, so you're only gonna be pulling up each leg four times. Let's go. Get as low and comfortable into that squat as you can with the overhead weights. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight. Okay, alternating squats with a knee up and an alternating punch. So, squat, knee up, cross punch, opposite knee, opposite arm. We got 10. I think, yes, you have 10. Let's go, weights are up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, last strength move. Renegade rows in plank with knee tucks. So opposite knee is tucking in to the arm that you're rowing up. We're doing ten. One equals one again. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We're going to keep cruising on. Our next part is. A strength and cardio mixer. One round, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Let's go, we got 10 moves. Change this timer and we're gonna hit it. 40, 10, 10 rounds. And I'm ready to go. Hopefully you caught your breath and got a drink while I'm doing this. 10 second countdown is on. Beginning with a deadlift. Moving on to the chest press after that. So, I'm going to deadlift my same bag because it's already ready. Keep it close to your body, butts out, squeezing up and back with your lats. Entire posterior chain working here. Butts out, squeeze those glutes at the top. 15 seconds. Set that bag out of the way. Grab your dumbbells for chest presses. I'm going with 24s. Get on your back or on your bench or your wall, however you're doing your chest presses. Get it going. Make sure it's controlled. You're squeezing those chest muscles at the top. Nice job. Breathe it out. Nice. Get the weights out of your way. You have mountain climbers next. Plank position. Start that sprint. Here we go.
Stay with it. You got 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one. Goblet, kettlebell, goblet squat, or dumbbell goblet squat. So you're holding that weight right up under your chin. Just do squats. Squeeze it up. Nice work. Keep that chest up. Keep that weight up. together to bring those weights up.
going. And our last move in this set is V up abs. So on your back. Let's go. Keep those feet up if you can. Bye. 
five. Single arm flies for 10. Get in that deep lunge again. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Okay, our last couplet is a weak couplet, which means abs pretty much. We're doing plank dips, 10 on one side, and then on the same side, you're doing 10 oblique crunches on your BOSU. So if you have that, get it. If you don't have a BOSU, you can use your physio ball or a pillow, or you can just do them right on the ground. So, hip dips first, and then go right into your crunches. I'm doing my hip dips from a high plank. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now in order to crunch and use the same side, you have to lay down on the opposite side. So lay down over the ball, and you're crunching up. One, this is awkward for me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, dips on the other side. Stack those feet, make sure that body's in a straight line. After this, you get a break. Let's go. Stay straight up tall, squeeze those abs tight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, oblique crunches. Hopefully you're not as awkward as I am doing this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, push pause. Take a one to two minute break. Get a drink. Don't lose your sweat. Come right back. We have a leg blitz finisher coming up at us. All right, I hope you're all back with me and ready to finish this off. We have a leg blitz finisher. So this is rep base. We're doing, starting off with 20 squats. And at the end of those 20 squats, you're going to do 10 squat pulses. So I'm going to back load from this. You're only going through these moves one time. Let's go. Good form. Stay tight. 20 reps. Squeeze up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Halfway. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 pulses, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Drop the weight. We have a stationary lunge. 15 reps on your left leg. It means that you're in a lunge and you're going up and down. And then you're finishing that with 10 pulses. So left leg forward, 
big step. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Stay down there for ten pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Shake that leg out. Of course, we have to get the other leg. Same thing, 15 stationary lunges with 10 pulses. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, Two, three, four, five, ten pulses. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Definitely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> Shake it out. You got 20 jump squats or squat jumps. No weight. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Reverse lunges, fifteen reps per leg. And I go with dumbbells. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, other leg, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. We got fifteen curtsy lunges per leg, and you're done with this leg blitz finisher. So I'm gonna back load for these, just to change it up. So 15 curtsy lunges per leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, other leg, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, drop that weight down. You have as five minute, as many rounds as possible. Jory originally had this as 10 minutes. I cut it to five, so you can thank me now. Um, I will tell you what move is coming. Let me just get my timer set to five minutes. And no seconds. We don't want to do this for any longer than, possible, than we need to. <laughs> 10 second count on seven. We're beginning with three burpees to it with a push up and a bicep curl. So I'm going to 15 for that. Here we go. Get five. One, I'm sorry. Three. Two. Three, moving on to alternating shoulder taps with push-ups for four. So push up, shoulder tap one, two, three, four. Next move, squat jumps for five. One, two, three, four, five. Star jumps for five. One, two, three, four, five. 10 elbow plank hip dips. So from side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High knees for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 18, 19, 20. Back to burpees. Three burpees. Push up, bicep curl. One. Two. Three. Shoulder tap push ups for four. One. Two. Three, four. Squat jumps for five. Then star jumps for five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Elbow plank hip dips for ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High knees for twenty. Halfway through. Nineteen twenty. Burpees. Bicep curl. One. Got three. Two. Three. Alternating plank shoulder taps. With a push up for four. One. Two. Three. Four. Squat jumps and star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Elbow dips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. High knees for twenty. You have one minute left. Seven to eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Get those burpees for three. One. Shoulder taps and push-ups 
lesser four. One, two, three, four. Squat jumps and star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Get those dips. You got ten seconds.20. It's 40 seconds of a cardio move. Then I will push pause on the timer and we have 20 reps on the strength move. We have total uh, eight moves. So let's do it. So 40 seconds on, 20 reps strength. Get my timer set and we're going to finish this no comfort zone routine. 10 second countdown has started. We are beginning with mountain climbers oh, for 40 seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Spread it out. You got this. Keep that heart rate up. Keep going. And then we have a couple more. 
my left, alternating reverse lunges and hitch kick. So no weight, reverse lunge, bring that leg up, hop to switch and kick in five seconds. This is your 40 second interval. So lunge back, knee up, hop to switch. Lunge back, knee up, you got it. Balance, coordination, all challenging at the end of this workout. Whoa, 15 seconds. workout. 